Hola, senorita. Let's try that again. Hi, my name is Rosh, and I write music for video games. Over the next year, I'll be attempting to post one video every week. I'll be posting some of the music I've been working on, including early drafts from Oblitus, Chromaya, Scrolls, and Castle Story. I'll share original music and cover songs that I've recorded as well. I'll also be posting behind-the-scenes music production screencasts. I'll be showing you my composition workflow, how I design synthesizer and instrument patches, and I'll be giving you tips and insight into my approaches for melody writing and part writing. You'll even get to see behind the scenes of my first rack extension, FM Blaster 16. <laughs> FM Blaster 16 is a four oscillator FM instrument. Wow, is it really? Based on the old AdLib and Sound Blaster sound cards of my childhood. For you super nerds, you might be familiar with the term OPL2. If you like the music in Spelunky or Rogue Legacy, you're gonna love this. I'll also be getting to know you guys, answering your questions, taking feedback, and getting feedback on your music as well. So leave a comment and I'll be sure to respond. And oh yeah, every once in a while, I'll be posting some really nerdy videos about programming. So get your mind ready. Blown. Let's get started with an early draft of music I've written for Oblitus. This track is for the cave area. You'll be viewing my Reason project, which shows you a sequencer, my rack window, <laughs> and the mixer. Stick around to the end where I'll talk about one of the patches I designed for FM Blaster 16, how it works, and showing you a bit of the goods. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Right now I'm using LFO1 to dictate the waveform of OPM at a nice constant rate. I'm using LFO2 to wildly control the uh, rate at which OPM affects OPC. It sounds like a crazy spaceship. I can change the pulse, and I can change the rate to make an even crazier noise. 